because it's almost impossible after five years or 10 years, you will get the same IPR. It's, it's almost impossible because after 10 years, the pressure will be decreased. Maybe, yeah, maybe if we can, if we can just assume, let me maybe we can copy and let's say paste it here. All right. And then let's say now the reservoir pressure decreased down to 5,000 or 500. Okay. And then the PWF, let's say A and B is original. The same A and the same B is original. Okay. But now the reservoir pressure decreased down to 5,000. I will drag it down like this. All right. And then so something needs to be changed. Or maybe I can control Z first. I will delete it. And then I will copy. I will call it case one. Okay, and then, or maybe I want to create case two, but yeah, I copy, All right? I want to create case two, but now the reservoir pressure decreased. I want to know that. Let's call it case two. Okay, and then now, this one, let's say the reservoir pressure is now, let's say new PWS. Yeah, we don't know exactly. We need to do the well testing after five years or 10 years. So now we just do, we just want to do justification. Okay, let's say now the reservoir pressure has been reduced down to 5,000. So I will change this one to be 5,000. Okay, and I want to calculate now the absolute open flow. Absolute open flow by assuming that A and B are, are the same after five to 10 years. All right, so okay, so now the same thing data, what if analysis, goal seek. We want to change this one, or maybe this one. Yep, A and B, and we get the flow rate here. Okay, let's say what if analysis. We want to change it to 24 million, 999785. We want to change the AOF. All right, now the absolute open flow has been decreased down to 13,000. So now it's impossible if you want to get production increase to 13,700. So let's say the reservoir pressure is 6,000. Again, we do. What if analysis, change it to 3599785 by changing this one. Okay, like this, for example. All right, so this is our IPR. And then this one of this one, okay. And then, sorry. Now this one. Okay. All right. So now is this one PWF. Oh, sorry. So this one should be not 7,000, but now it's 6,000. Okay. So let's say now the new 
IPR is like this. The new IPR is like this. After five, after five years or 10 years, right? the reservoir pressure decreased down to 6,000. But we maintain the reservoir pressure or, or the reservoir characteristics A and B are the same. So we create new IPR. We can disregard this well test data because it happens five years or 10 years ago. So this is our new IPR. And I will call that plot to this one, select data. Now let's call it new IPR. And series X, the flow rate. And then series Y, the pressure. Okay. All right, so now this is our new IPR. 